Okay, in this video, what we're going to talk about is PLC programming with ladder logic. We're going to talk about the six basic components to doing that. So we're going to talk about one through six, and six probably being the most best. So stick to the end of the video, and we'll get through all of them. Thanks. Okay, so uh, basically what we're going to talk about is ladder logic itself. So once what I, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to have this out article like linked below too. So if you ever want to check it, you can actually go through and check it yourself. But um, what we're going to do is just quickly go through this article and show the main key components to ladder logic and what it takes to actually get started. So again, there are there are several different languages when it comes to uh, programming PLCs. There's ladder logic, function block, there's structured text. There's a uh, sequential function chart. This is going to be, again, the introduction to uh, PLC ladder logic. So, um, and like I said, you can come back and, and read this article as you go. The first instruction we're going to talk about, and this is one of the six that we're going to talk about through this video, is um, the XIC, which is basically an examine if closed. So, um, in, when the examine and close is basically, it actually transmits the power through when the bit is high when the bit goes from a, a zero state to a one state therefore allowing the power to go through this is illustrated in this uh, article that I've written right here you can plainly state um, and it tells you again if the binary state or binary bit of this is true the wrong uh, condition in the is set to an out is set to true so if the binary bit is at false, the wrong condition is obviously clear to a false. The next one, which is the counterpart to that, is the actual um, XIO, which is basically an examine if off. So it means you're able to pass power through this rung in the state of zero. If the bit, the binary bit is in the state of zero instead of a state of one. So therefore, it actually works like counteractive to the first bit that we talked about in the XIC. This is an XIO. So again, it's an examine if um, examine if off, basically. Um, so examine if if not, you know. So it's been, again though. It's basically saying if the binary bit is a zero, then it can transmit power through it. So if you had a tag that was set to zero. It would transmit power through it. If it was went to a one, a state of one, then it would not transmit the power through. And again, that's clarified down in the statement I have below. This is again the, just a, a highlighted symbol of what the, the bit looks like. The next one we're, we're going to talk about, and I'm going through these rather quick because I want to save your time. But at the same time, you can go back and look at this article. This is the OTE instruction. The OTE instruction is basically the way you transmit power to an output um, and again the, this, this is indicated in the um, the uh, paragraph the small paragraph I have right here is basically uh, when the OTE instruction is true the controller sets the data bit that coincides with that true um, when the OC, um, OTE bit is false the controller clears that state that status of that data bit and um, actually have um, an illustration down here using these in in a proper function. The start bit I have, the start push button I have is a XIC, which is basically when it's closed, it's in use, right? It basically cuts on the system enable. When the system enable comes on, it would latch in the system, and actually when it, it would it would stay true, it would, it would keep the system. Um, enable on as long as the stop button which is an XI, uh, XIO was not pressed and again I have these highlighted in this article for very easily to uh, read instructions and again I explain this whole scenario right here it says uh, again the start push button is pressed the uh, system enable is on when the stop push button is not active it latches in this is again shown in this this uh, right here. I actually have this simulated in a small GIF that I made um, to show that when the start button is pushed, the uh, 
system enable comes on and as long as the button stop button is not pressed it's on so you can plainly state you can plainly see exactly what happens so there's an interactive gif on that uh, in this article as well so i'm um, trying to get the very most i can out of this article uh, so now we get into timers okay so uh what is a a, a timer on delay which is a t-o-n this is again um, a timer on delay is basically saying you have a preset that you can put in the timer and this is this is done off of milliseconds um, and at least it is in in rs5000 um, and studio 5000 so with that said um, you have a preset of time that you have in there and you set that in the preset you have the timer name up here and then you have uh, accumulated value now when the timer is true it starts timing when it starts timing and it times out it times it over the preset that is selected the de the dn bit which is the done bit will come on therefore can be used in a system i'll show this in a little later example the next one is the the uh, timer off delay which is a tof okay the tof is basically um, it has a timer name as a the whatever you choose to name it as a tag Again, it uses a preset, but it, it actually works basically opposite of the TON is the TOF. It, when the rung stops being true, then it starts timing and, and it holds the, D, the done bit until the time falls uh, below the, um, the preset. Basically, it, the preset holds it to a certain amount and it, as soon as it accumulates over the preset, it will drop that done bit. The retentative timer, which is next, the retentative timer actually shows, um, is, is, works similar to both of the other timers, but what it does is, is it retains the value. It retains the, the time. So if, say for instance, the run comes true and the preset value is not yet reached and the run goes false, it will hold the value that is currently in there. And then it, when the run goes true again, it will finish counting wherever it was. It will finish timing out wherever it was until the preset is reached. And then the done bit is, tr is, ha um, is actually triggered at that point. Now you have to use a clear bit at that point to use it. I actually give uh, a good example of the way the, the math is done on these um, and each one of them. Again, I've made a GIF here to show you exactly how a timer is programmed and how a timer works. So um, this is a simple uh, TON, which is a timer on delay. You just I made a sample timer. I put a delay in there. Um, I'm using it uh, using the the bit itself, the done bit, to allow it to come on and allow it to enable, and then the done bit comes on. So again, uh, these GIFs are very very helpful to uh, help you understand how to use that. Uh, what I also did is I linked a video that I, I, I did probably last year um, on YouTube and I basically show all these being used in here as far as the timers on, timer off, and the retentative timer. This will be very much um, a very value added uh, component to this. Then I actually also uh, linked in a um, a video about aliasing IO so aliasing tags and making tags like using a start push button start push button or any kind of uh, push button or any kind of uh, tag itself being able to alias that to a real world input so I've added that video in this article as well uh, again this video um, probably about 22 minutes but again if you're learning how to do PLCs or you have trouble with any of the value or the topics that we just talked about, this will be a great article for you. So um, I want to just go through and highlight those facts and show you exactly what is offered in this article. Um, again, I'll have it linked below, and I just want to, you know, offer the um, offer basically the uh, ability to to grow from this, right? So some people are trying to start out. Some people actually know they've been They've been through PLC programming themselves a little bit, but they just need a refresher. Um, whether, wherever you are at, um, I think a lot of this is very, very valuable. So again, I just wanted to make sure that that uh, you guys knew that I, you know, there was an article built for you, and I have it on my website. So please visit this URL. Uh, I'll link it below.
Um, again, this is very, very helpful. Um, another key thing that I would like to ask you to help with, um, there is um, a guy, and again, I, I don't really ask for uh, assistance um, at all when it comes to um, when it comes to things, but when um, and I, I can't sign in my Twitter right now. Let me see if I can get on my other one um, and sign in my Twitter. Uh, so basically, what uh, I wanted to show you is. Um, one of the guys I follow, um, his name is Tucker. Um, he actually, um, is having trouble. He's, he's, uh, he's in a wheelchair, right? So, and he basically has, um, a rare disease, uh, but he has trouble getting around and everything. But what the major trouble is right now is he has an insurance problem and his chairs, uh, his wheelchair that, that actually helps him get around is actually broken. Um, I'll link his Twitter account right here below and if for any reason or anybody feels I've already um, personally donated to his cause to try to help him out they've, they've raised some money for him already to uh, just to help out with the controls um, if you know there's a video right here if you go to Twitter if you have a Twitter go to Twitter and uh, visit his URL listen to his story he's he's 100% legit um, he's just trying to get his, his wheelchair fixed because right now he's, he can barely get in and out of it. And, uh, in his condition, um, you know, he, it's very, very valuable to help where we can help out. So again, around the holidays, I know it's, it's a lot to ask for somebody to, to give and to do. But honestly, um, I've made this YouTube channel just to be able to give and to help people. And by no means do I try to do anything else. Um, Yes, I have uh, PLC courses and stuff like that, but as far as that goes, I made them because I was requested to make them from very every, everybody that follows me. Actually, a lot of people that follow me requested that I make them, uh, re so I, there was some structure behind the YouTube stuff. But what we need to do is we need to, to find a place in our heart to give where we can and help a good cause. So um, I encourage you to visit and at least check out Tucker's story. Um, if you can uh, spare, you know, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever to the cause. Um, again, I don't I don't ask. This is not for me. This is for a good cause to help somebody with um, a, a dire need because his insurance can't pay for this stuff. And uh, I know if if one of us were stuck in that position and we couldn't get around, you know, what would we do? So let's see if we can all come together and make this a, a good showing for him. And, um, again, for those who, I tell you what, for those who do, um, give a gift of $20 or more, um, send me a, um, comment below. I will put you in my free course. I just developed a brand new PLC course. I will make sure you are in that course for free if you do. So, um, again, comment below. Uh, I'll talk to Tucker, verify, we'll verify that it happened is, um, and then, uh, just, I'll give you, I'll make sure I, that you get enrolled in my course for free. So, um, that's, uh, again, there, there's no, nothing hidden agenda behind that. I just wanted to, to touch base and to let everybody know something that touched me the other day and, and I gave what I could. I just was trying to reach out and help, and this is another way I, I can try to reach out and help. So again, um, but uh, back to the article itself, feel free to visit this article. It'll be linked below. Um, thank you again for you know following and being part of uh, my YouTube channel, and I very much value everybody that follows me. So thank you for everybody who has subscribed. And for those who are new that are catching this little, little bit late, um, again, thank you. And I'm not sure, um, you know, where you're catching things, but please feel free to do a search on my YouTube channel. You should be able to find anything you need to uh, progress your learning. Okay, thank you. And if you stayed around to the end of, it, end of this video, um, again, because I'm going to have um, <clears throat> bonuses on the end of my videos, uh, again, uh, I will have these linked 
videos are, are linked properties uh, in the bottom of the show notes below for my free um, four, five hour intro to PLC programming. My free, um, actually this is a servo and that's five hours. This is actually show a lot of stuff in here that, that a lot of people are, and it's a lot better platform. But uh, also the um, intro uh, introduction to uh, RS5000 and Studio 5000. What are the differences between those? Um, <clears throat> the um, one I'm talking about giving people that give to Tucker. Um, this is this brand new PLC class right here. Um, I'll actually pull it up for you and show you uh, what it all entails. <clears throat> Uh, again, uh, very, very valuable uh, course. Um, hate for you to miss out on it. So, uh, again, <laughs> um, it's uh, valued pretty high right now. So, um, but go back to all my courses. I can show you these as well. Um, these are here. Um, they're promos. So, um, I will have them linked below. You can watch. You can enroll for free, just like I just said. Um and again, you can enroll for free on this one, just like I just said. I mean, so they'll be there. Um, again, I do this to help people. I do this to help people. I can't stress that enough. I don't do this for any other thing. I mean, I constantly give away free training, and I hope people value it. Because uh, so many people, this is the sole reason I'm, I'm starting to get off of Udemy. Because people don't value when you try to give them something for free. They look, uh, they look a gift in the mouth and just basically say that it's just not worth it. And it, it truly is. You need to value what people give you. Um, there's a lot of value in this stuff. There's stuff in here that Rockwell teaches for like $1,500 a class. So if you don't think it's worth it, uh, go, uh, go take, go to some Rockwell classes. Matter of fact, go to Tech Ed. Go to Tech Ed yourself. Um, so I, I'm just here to show. For those who are sticking around to the end of the video, you'll know that the links are below. You'll know why. Um, I'm just showing you that. So um, anyway, this is my new. This is uh, going to be my new um, university for those who are trying to better themselves and trying to grow. Um, it's going to get bigger and better. I'm slowly adding stuff every single day. So just stay tuned.